on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Books. We need to quit listening to everybody. Listen to ourselves. Because you know what I'm saying? You can never blame nobody but yourself. I listen to myself. I put question marks by everything everybody say. Yeah, I know y'all get mad at me when I say, hey, I hate these YouTube talking points. Because yeah. what does it consist of? Let me see you live up to the talking points you say. If you look ac uh, across the, the YouTube talking points arena, half of the niggas don't match up their talking points. So that's what I'm saying. It's a hazard. So quit reading that motherfucking book. Write your own book. Let them enhance it and put question marks by that bitch. And if it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. That's the whole concept of happy life, happy wife. Because she ain't going to have no choice. Because before she walked through my door, she signed on that dotted line. I, so-and-so, will abide by the rules and regulations of Mr. Logic Plan. Other than that, don't come in this bitch. Yeah. You know what like, I'm saying? Think about it. This whole love language stuff really reprogram people to really think about and start to adopt the philosophy and, and, and put themselves in a box based off of what they think is communicated to them by the person that wrote the text, right? And so when you read this men are from Mars, women are from Venus thing, what it's doing is it's teaching men how to negotiate with women for what it is that they want. The reality is that if you teach men how to be proactive and set the standard prior to them getting in a relationship in the first place, then you'll start to put them in a position of power, right? A lot of guys lead themselves into things because they're too busy pining for and negotiating with women from the very beginning instead of setting the standard and, and logic is right. Say what it is that you want from the very beginning, set the expectation and do not make it too big. I had a conversation with somebody today and they said, yo, I said, what, what's been going on, fam? I ain't talked to you in two months. He said, yeah, man, uh, I'm, I'm about to get married. I said, what, what does that mean? When you get married? 2024. I said, why so far? She said she wanted a destination wedding. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I swear to God, bro, I promise you, that's exactly what he said. He said, she said she wanted a destination wedding. And he put his head down just like that. She said she wanted a destination wedding. I said, you done. You can forget it. It's over. Did it you is play, over. Did you play taps for him? Oh, Let's go ahead and play the trumpet. And, and you know what the worst part about it? No matter how much I tried to give him insight on how, how you said, how you start off, it's how you have to continue, and it's a standard that you cannot keep up. He was not trying to hear it. He was listening, but he had already fallen into this dark space of negotiating and moving based off of the standard standards that she said instead of aligning him, because she might not even be his person, right? Yeah. His person may very well be a humble chick that is that is looking to rock with him based off of the fact that he set the expectation and said, yo, I'm 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 not trying to do a whole lot right now because I'm trying to stay down for the next five years because I'm building my company. The chick that he with ain't checking for that. The chick that he with is winning because he led with these things that he can't sustain. And now it's actually taken from what it was that he was building because he's too busy trying to satisfy her expectations. And I said, you playing it all wrong, bro. You you with the wrong chick. I'm gonna just be honest with you. You with the wrong chick, you setting the standards too early to be too high that you cannot meet, and you taking resources away from what it is that you was building in the first place. I know, but uh, you know. I'm like, all right, cool. Just don't say it that I didn't tell you. But, you know, what do I know, bro? What do I know? Right, that'll be the thing, bro. Like, the wild part about it, Anton, a lot of them don't even negotiate. They just fold. Just fold. Whatever her demands is, because you know why? I don't feel like arguing. You got it. Mm. You know what but, I'm saying? Which, 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 which goes back to, to what she's saying. When you do that, and what Anton just said, when you do that, you set the guidelines for how your relationship is going to run. So she going to get accustomed to you just folding. Now you're going to fold and fold and fold. And then a year and a half into the relationship, you're going to try to put your foot down and she's going to look at you like you fucking crazy. And, and you're going to be wondering why. But that, no, but what did George Bush say after the, tw um, the airplanes hit the Twin Towers? He would not negotiate he with terrorists. Don't negotiate with terrorists. Because yeah. once you start negotiating, you will always put yourself in that negotiating seat. That will you created you to set the standard to negotiate. And the only thing that that you should negotiate with is the things that you provided.
to give her that. If that's our arena, you got it. I'm not going to negotiate. Look, look, just like I'm not going to negotiate with a chick that's asking me what color blinds it is. I'm not going, oh, no, I like that. I wanted this right here. No, I'm not going to negotiate with that. You got that. That's your arena. And, but and you, go outside ahead, of your arena, My not negotiate. Yeah. No, the, 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 other, the other part about it is just that it, it, it doesn't mean that, like, you can't say nothing, shut the fuck up, like, none of that, right? Like, that's not what we're saying. We're not saying that, you know, you can't communicate or we're not taking into consideration what it is that you're saying and so on and so forth. We, I'm largely talking to the guys when I'm saying that when you set the standard, right? I was doing really well when I first got married. I probably spent $300 on both of our rings every year, five years, every five years. And I've been married for 18 years. I gave her an upgrade and she wasn't asking for it. She wasn't looking for it, but I just did it because I, I was showing her, yo, I value you. I recognize what it is that you contribute into what it is that we got going on. I appreciate you. Listen, let me, let me do it. But the stand, but I wasn't leading into it. Like, yeah, you know what? I got it. No, we going to build this thing together. We're rocking with you. You rocking with me. Listen, this is how we going to do this. When you, when my daughter get of age, you got the option to go back to work and do whatever it is that you want to do once you start going to school full time or you can come work for me. Like we we just kind of we just we just thugged it out. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was straight up on some thug out type stuff and the stuff that we did for fun. Most of the stuff that we did for fun was free. You know what I'm saying? We was we was sneaking in the movie theater together. You know what I'm saying? When we was broke, when we went broke, like, yo, listen, bring out the movie ticket. Let me come in and slide in with you. You know what I'm saying? We was doing the stuff that was, that, that was the best times was when we didn't even have no money, but it, but it showed me the character of the person that I was rocking with and that she was just going to roll with me and we was just going to thug it out. Now we actually get resources and now that we actually starting to spend some money is worth it for me because I, I, I didn't have to lead with it in order to get somebody that was actually rocking with me for an extended period of time. That's how you set the expectations. Stop leading with your money. Stop trying to convince this chick that you're going to save her and take care of her for the rest of her life. And then let her show her appreciation by being down with you. And then, you know, you got a real one. But see, I think, I think a man still should lead with his, his, his plan for that woman. And his plan for that woman would be obviously the plan for himself and the plan for their future kids. That should be the lead in anything. If you lead with that and you know you're inviting her into that 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 plan and then she's providing that thing. Once you say that up front, and I picked up a lot of like I, I like listening to y'all. Like, even though y'all don't think I do, I, I mean, I take shit away from Trill, uh, especially Anton, because y'all niggas married. Um, not Miss Lego, but uh, Anger Man, yeah, because <laughs> y'all say little things. So now, the things y'all say, y'all don't necessarily modify my plan. Y'all more or less enhance it, like you know what I'm saying, like a hairline. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just make it sharper. But my plan still gonna stay the same. I just look at different things that y'all have said. I said, you know what? I never thought of it that way. But I'm gonna put yeah. a uh, question mark next to that bitch because I really don't think it gonna work. You know what I'm saying? I really don't, you know, I mean, that's how I am. I really don't think what Trill say gonna work. I'm hopeful. But the thing is, is that for me, we just need to write our own books. We need to write our own books. We need to quit listening to everybody, listen to ourselves. Because, you know what I'm saying, you can never blame nobody but yourself. I listen to myself. I put question marks by everything everybody say. Yeah, I know y'all get mad at me when I say, hey, I hate these YouTube talking points because yeah. What does it consist of? Let me see you live up to the talking points you say. If you look ac uh, across the, the YouTube talking points arena, half of the niggas don't match up their talking points. So that's what I'm saying. It's a hazard. So quit reading that motherfucking book. Write your own book. Let them enhance it and put question marks by that bitch. And if it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. That's the whole concept of happy life, happy wife. Cause she ain't gonna have no choice. Cause before she walked through my door, she signed on that dotted line. I so and so will abide by the rules and regulations of Mr. Logic Plan. Other than that, don't come in this bitch. <laughs>